Hey guys, it's the Mayor Heath Sheeran here. Uh, another three minute video. And I'm pumped to be here today with you. I do love this industry. I love hanging out with you guys. And it, it's uh, it's been so much fun for me and getting the feedback and, and just getting to hang out with you guys uh, every week. And today we're gonna be talking about how hard it is to hire in the insurance industry. We're talking about that all week. And I really hope that these videos are helping you we're trying to give you different and creative strategies to uh, make it a little bit easier for you. And today, you know, as we talk about hiring in this industry, I, I wanted to, to talk to you about, you know, maybe uh, maybe it's something getting outside of the box and thinking a little bit differently in your strategies and what you're doing and what you've been doing. And sometimes that means looking outside of our industry. Sometimes that means maybe looking at, at something a little different like, uh, Chick-fil-A, for example, obviously they do a really good job of customer service. So if there's another industry or another business in your town or in your county that they do a really good job of customer service, they do a really good job of sales or something like that. Maybe there's someone in uh, your B&I group or there's someone in your uh, networking uh, circle that you know, that you might be able to just go to them and just say, hey, uh, really like what you're doing. We'd love to visit with you about joining our team. Or uh, something to that effect, maybe you know someone in your church or in your other uh, social circles that you might be able to think outside the box and just approach them. Uh, I think uh, you might have to look at your agency, maybe step back a little bit and look at maybe like a 35,000 foot view and then just look at the, the organization and, and what you've been doing and just say, you know, maybe we need to reorganize a few things. Uh, maybe you need to uh, take that, you know, not, not to blow the whole thing up, maybe just step back and say, you know, what's working, what's not, where do we find efficiencies and inefficiencies uh, for that matter? And maybe look at, at hiring to to fix some of those issues or to highlight some of the other efficiencies that you do have and, and maybe surround those with some different types of uh, job opportunities. And, you know, as you think about that, if you've got uh, that one person or several people that do everything, uh, those people tend to get burnt out or tend to struggle quite a bit in your agency. And you know that, I know that. Uh, not anything new that I've shared here with you, but uh, I do think that that's super important that you uh, maybe find a different ways to take some stuff off of somebody's plate and, and maybe create a new position, whether it's someone to handle all your social media, or maybe it's someone to come to your agency just to handle the, uh, the endorsements or the uh, certificates or um, mortgage changes, things like that. And maybe you look at uh, something even uh, like a, a virtual employee for that, uh, someone like a, a cover desk employee, a virtual assistant of some sort. We highly recommend those as well. But I think if you could find a way to reorganize and look at that uh, and maybe look at your team as a whole and just say, hey, where can we plug somebody in or maybe hire someone to help in those areas? I, I think, again, it comes back to uh, reorganizing a little bit and maybe thinking outside the box, doing something just a little bit different than you've done in the past. And maybe that would help you in that hiring process. Maybe it's not always an account manager or always a salesperson, um, or maybe not always a front desk person. Maybe it's a different type of role uh, within your agency that you could do. I really hope that these videos are helping you. And I hope that it's something that uh, you could ask some more questions about, maybe get involved and help. If you've got a mastermind you're part of, maybe you ask them some of the things that they're doing. Maybe you talk to someone in your networking group or your local chamber or something like that as well. Just to, again, to think outside the box, think a little bit differently. Maybe look at reorganizing a few things, find out where you're efficient and where your inefficiencies are and, and look to tackle some of those head on. Uh, thank you guys. And uh, I'll see you again uh, next time. All right, so now it's a new week. We have a new course that we're bringing back out of the depths. To say a one time only this week, you can buy it outright. We never do this. We only do it during launches where you can buy the course outright. And this one is how to cross sell. It was one of our best courses, people. So you literally have a, you could buy it outright 30% off, or you could get 25% off our process packs, our swag for most swag items, or school subscription. So if you want access to all of our courses, 25% off this little school subscription. But if you want to buy that course outright, you have to do it now. This is your only opportunity. We're releasing it one week, 30%, buy it outright, own it forever. And it's all on how to cross sell. Whose team couldn't use more value in how to cross sell? 
I think everybody's team could. So if you missed out, now's your chance to hop back on and own that course so that your team goes into 2022 with a great plan of cross-selling.